Hey everyone, I'm going to show you how I set up uh, my shipping for my items, which I offer three different options. A free option with no tracking, a flat rate, um, so one cost no matter how many products with tracking, and again a flat rate for priority mail no matter how many items tracking. This is just real quick um, to get you up and running to get this notice right here out of the way. Uh, and if you want to do real-time rates or anything else, check out the Help Center. I'll put a link down to the shipping section there that has more information about real-time rates and other things that you can do. There are a few little quirks going on, or AKA bugs in the system that I found. Uh, I'm gonna explain them as I go and how to get around them. Hopefully they'll be fixed in the future, but for the time being, uh, this, we've got to work with what we got. Okay, so when you first log in, uh, either as your first time or even after you've added products, until you set up a valid shipping method, you are gonna get this warning message. And to get rid of that, we set up a correct shipping method. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to administration, shipping, shipping methods. I'm gonna go ahead and close out this notice just so I can see everything. I did have uh, my, my three shipping methods set up, which you can see them here. Um, this is before I deleted them. One of the bugs right now is that if you have shipping methods in here and you disable them and you have active ones, the system is still gonna think that you haven't set up a proper shipping method even if you have an active one. So if you have any disabled shipping methods and an active, it's not, it's, you're still gonna get that one message, that warning message. So you have to delete any of the disabled ones for the time being. You can only have active shipping methods. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is click the Add Shipping Method button. And I have my information saved from last time I was uh, working, uh, before I deleted them. So I'm gonna paste that in there and then put a little message. Um, this little message that shows up here, I'm gonna put it here. And we're just doing a manual method. We're not doing real time. Again, if you wanna do real time, there's more information about that in the Help Center and I highly suggest you check it out. Delivery time, that's where we put in like how many days of this, for this particular delivery service you're setting up. Um, and it's not processing time. It's after you drop it in the mail or with FedEx or UPS or whoever you ship through. What is the average amount of time that it's gonna to take to get to the customer? Uh, I'm using first class mail, so typically, um, I usually put three to seven business days. Um, that's not always correct, especially as of right now with the new Postmaster General, things have really slowed down. But, you know, that's typically, that's what, what they say is the time frame. Uh, weight limit, if you're going to do a real-time rate, which we're not going to go over in this, but if you're going to do real-time rate, you do, you can use this weight limit. Um, and again, if you're, you can, and you can put in a weight limit even if you're not going to use real-time rates, but if you do want to use this weight limit, you do have to put weight limits or weights on each of your products, every single one, uh, because if you don't, then it won't know how much it weighs and it won't be able to use that system. So you might end up getting weird uh, you might not if you don't put a weight on a product and they, somebody checks out with it it might not choose the proper amount for shipping if you need it and um, I have a graphic that I use and I will provide these to you guys if you guys want to use them I'll put a link to each one and you can download them uh, I don't tax shipping if you need to tax your shipping uh, you can check mark that I believe we're gonna leave all of these two alone. And then since this is gonna be my free shipping option, I'm gonna go ahead and check mark it. Um, if you wanna offer free shipping, you have to have one shipping method that is check marked for free shipping. Otherwise it won't work. <laughs> then we're gonna press create. Now after we press create, we're gonna have some more options. We're still gonna get this warning message here in a second because we haven't actually finished setting this up. We've done the first kind of initial setup. Now we actually have to put the rates in. Um, so we're going to click on shipping time and rates. I'm going to put in this uh, delivery time three to seven business days. I'm not quite sure where this one shows up, but I figured I might as well put it in there. 
So there are three different ways that you can do a manual uh, or a, you know, a manual shipping rate. Uh, you can do it by product cost, by product weight, or by number of items. By product weight, again, you have to have a weight on every single product for this to work. I'm not even going to go over this one. So because this is my free shipping, here's another little quirk. Because this is my free shipping one, if I put it in here I, by cost, it will, oh, now I'm trying to remember. <laughs> if I put it in by cost, it will not work. I'm pretty sure I have to put it in by number of items. So I'm gonna put in, if it's one item, you have to put a cost in there, even though this is gonna be free, I put a dollar or a penny or what have you. I'm gonna press save. So if it's more than one item, the shipping cost is $1. But because I have on the general tab this for free shipping, it should show up as free shipping. I'm going to go ahead and refresh this. This is from before I deleted these. So I'm going to refresh this page. And yes, it's working. So now I'm seeing first class, no tracking, free shipping. So now I'm going to go back over to my the uh, vendor area. And I am going to go back to shipping, shipping methods. Now I'm gonna make my, uh, my second method, which is where I charge $3 flat rate for as many decals as people wanna order. Just because for me, decals, I can put like five decals in the same envelope as one and it's the same cost for both. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and click add a shipping method. I'm gonna go back over to my one that I had previously made, paste in my title there. I'm gonna grab what I said there. I'm gonna put this here. Now, what's nice about this little box is, um, is you can type in a message. Um, you can, this is just like when you're adding your descriptions for your products. You can put in, you can make things bold, bigger. You can center a line, add little graphics. You know, you've got, you've got some room here. I wouldn't go too crazy. Um, you can change colors of things. I try and make it very clear what of my shipping methods have what, um, because even though I put it everywhere, people will still miss it. Even if I had a big pop-up, you know, show up, they would still say, oh, I didn't see that, um, because people don't pay attention. So, and it's the same thing. I'm going to do the same three to seven business days. I'm going to ignore the weight and I grab my graphic. I'm not going to check mark free shipping because this one is not free shipping. I'm going to go ahead and press create. Here's another little bug. As you're creating these new ones, even though you have one that's valid, because we just set up this new one and we haven't gone into the second tab here, the system thinks again that you haven't set up your shipping properly. So this message will be shown to you until you finish setting up the second part of your shipping method. So now I'm going to go to shipping times and rates. I'm going to do the three to seven business days. Now here is where before we did number of items to get the free. When I tried doing that before, it wasn't working right. The only way I could get it to work is then if I did it by cost. So if it's more than a penny, the cost is $3. If I press save, now we didn't get that warning message. And if I refresh checkout, cross our fingers, look, there it is, $3. So when I click on it, it adds the shipping charge up here. It uh, puts my little note down there. And one of the other things I wanted to mention is I will be putting in a little bit more information in my shipping stuff here, just talking about what's included, what isn't, and uh, also about how USPS is incredibly slow right now. Just, you know, again, because maybe somebody will catch it and they won't get upset if they don't get their decal in two days. <laughs> um, I have one more shipping method I need to set up. Sorry, my thing froze there. So I go administration, shipping, shipping methods, and I click add shipping method. Now this is going to be my priority mail. 
So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to skip this right here because I'm going to be a little bit more detailed and I'm essentially saying includes tracking and insurance. This one um, should be one to three business days, I believe, is what they guarantee for priority. I will double check that. I have another icon for this one. And again, I'm not taxing, you know, none of this. So I press create. I'm going to get that message again. So there's that message. Now if I go into shipping times and rates, I'm going to close this out. Now if I go to more than a penny, my flat rate cost is $7.95 press save. Didn't get that error. If we go back to checkout. Now we see the free with no tracking, the first class with tracking, and the priority mail at $7.95. And I'm just going to go and show you what I was talking about. If I go back to my um, $7.95 one here, if I delete my under there and I go back and I put it if it's more than one item, the cost is $7.95. Now this may work because, you know, I'm sure I'm doing the screencast. But before, when I had it like this, it made it free shipping. And yeah, see it changed it to free. That's a bug. <laughs> it shouldn't be free. Because <laughs> if it's more than one item, it should be $7.95 as per this. More than one item, $7.95. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. I'm going to do if it's more than, you can actually do if it's more than zero, I think this should work. $7.95. I'm going to press save. Let's refresh. All right, and now it's back to the correct amount. Now, one more thing that I want to show you. So then, okay, uh, a couple more things. So then, um, if you already had some products in here and you didn't have your shipping method set up, they're all going to be set to hidden. Uh, you can check mark all of them and you can kind of do a bulk. You can change the status to active, make products active, and it will change all of these from hidden to active. Now I'm going to change this one back to hidden because that one should not be live on the site. Now all of my site, my products will be there, whereas before they weren't showing. So there they all are. Now. As you see, these two other products have the free shipping little icon on there. This one does not. I'm going to add this one to my cart. Just randomly pick some stuff. Let me go check out. And shipping rates are still correct, but I'm actually going to delete this one. So I want to make sure this is still right. Look, and everything's still showing up correctly. So that free shipping um, little flag that we can see, and I'll go back and show you in a minute what I'm talking about. And I'll show you how to turn this on. This is kind of just an indicator. Um, now, it, this could be a bug right now, why it's, it's not working properly. I know in older versions of this software, if you had where this showed up, uh, it, it worked a little bit differently. This is a newer version, so I don't know if they've made that change or not. But to get this to show up, we go back to our products. We open up our product. We go to shipping properties. And then we have this free shipping uh, check mark here. So it says products with free shipping option enabled will be excluded from shipping calculation if shipping method has the use for free shipping option enabled, which is that little check mark we checked on the bottom of the my free shipping option. So if we check mark that, then that means this product will be free shipping with that one method. Now there is one caveat here that if you do have this turned on and you do have a weight and stuff in here, let's say you offer free shipping on one item but not another and you do weight based. And this is, this is pretty advanced, but if you're doing weight based and you're offering free shipping on some products and not on others, when you have this check marked, it will disregard this like, like like it said here it will not it will exclude it from calculating anything in the shipping rate so if your free product weighed one pound and the non-free product weighed three pounds the shipping uh, the shipping system is only going to calculate for three pounds 
it's not going to add that other pound in there. So if you want that pound in there, you need to uncheck mark this free shipping. Yeah, you can still offer free shipping. It just won't have that little, uh, the little blue, this little blue flag here. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and put that on and press save and refresh this page. And now it's there. So there you go. That's quick and easy. Uh, well, sort of easy, but maybe a little bit more explained and why it's causing more issues. Oh, and I, I think I said this already. I've, I've tried this to do this video a few times, but I kept running into problems. So w one more thing, if I didn't say this already, if I change one of these to disabled, it hides all of my products and it brings that warning back. So it thinks, even though there's two active ones, and this one I deactivated or disabled for whatever reason. The system currently thinks that if I have any disabled ones, uh, I would need to do that. To get that to go away, I can delete it. And now I don't get that message. And if I go back to my products, they're all hidden again, but I should be able to activate them, yes. Now, if you try and activate them when you haven't got your shipping method set up, or if you have one disabled, or if you haven't finished setting up your shipping option, it will not let you. The system will not let you um, change it from hidden to active. So just be aware, and I hope this helps you out.